മൊഡ്യൂൾ ത്രീ ക്ലാസ് ത്രീ മാത്തമാറ്റിക്സ് ചാപ്റ്റർ ത്രീ സബ്രാക്ഷൻ So, chatting, without borrowing, first we do the subtraction of four digit numbers. Four digit numbers. Okay. Now, without borrowing, that means the number is bigger, no? Seven, four, six, eight, minus one, two, four, three. Both are four digit numbers. the same process how to how we subtract a one digit two digit three digit etc the same way we just start from here 8 minus 3 means 5 6 minus 4 means 2 4 minus 2 means 2 7 minus 1 equal 6 so what is the answer 6225 now one more question 9 3 2 4 minus 4 1 1 3 how you subtract again is start from the right side 4 minus 3 equal to 1 2 minus 1 equal 1 3 minus 1 equal 2 9 minus 4 equal 5 so what is the answer 5211 no one more just share one more sum that is without borrowing Seven two three eight minus five one two six. I will subtract again. Start from this right. Eight minus six equal to two. Three minus two equal to one. Two minus one equal to one. Seven minus five equal two. Also, what is answer? Two thousand one hundred and twelve. All these are based on the place value. That means ones, tens, hundreds, thousand. Okay. So from one to start. Now we are going to subtract a four digit with borrowing. That means how you subtract zero, zero minus one, etc. Now five. This seven four three one minus. Five, two, four, eight. Here, one minus eight is not possible. No, this one also just write according to the place value. Okay, one minus eight is not possible. So you take one from here. This become two, and this become eleven. Eleven minus eight equal. What is the answer? A after eight, nine, ten, eleven. So the answer is three. Now. is not possible so you take one from this this become 3 and this become 12 12 minus 4 you get again after 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 what is answer 8 now 3 minus 2 equal to 1 7 minus 5 equal to 2 now we just find how to subtract zeros okay now 8000 Minus two four six eight. Here also zero minus eight is not possible. No, so you want to take one from the previous number. Here again it becomes zero. So just move on to the previous. Here again it becomes zero. Now again previous. So here is this becomes seven. Now this number becomes ten. If you take one from it, this becomes ten. Now again you take one from this ten means this become nine and this become ten. Again you want to borrow one from this ten, so this become nine and this become ten. Ten minus eight equal two. Nine minus six equal three. Nine minus four equal five. Seven minus two equal five. So what is answer? Five thousand. Five hundred and thirty-two. Now one more question. I just give you one more question. Five 
zero three two minus one nine six four. Here, two minus four is not possible. So we take one from here. This become two, and this become twelve. Twelve minus four equal. After four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That become eight. Now again, two minus six is not possible. So you want to take one from this previous number. That becomes z. That is zero, no? So again, just check it. That the previous number. This become four, and this become ten. If you take one from here, this become nine, and this become twelve. Now twelve minus six equals six. Nine minus nine equals zero. Four minus one equals three. So what is the answer? Three thousand and sixty-eight. Now square no how to subtract two four-digit numbers. So in this chapter we are studying how to the subtraction, subtraction of four-digit, three-digit from four-digit and the four digits. Okay. So the, do the sums in the textbooks and also write the notes in the notebook properly. I'll give you the notes. Okay. This is the end of module three. Thank you.